This is her last testimony on, before we push her down the hill. <laughs> I want this on record <laughs> that I have planned two beautiful morning hikes in the past year. Everybody has complained, and then we get to the top, and everybody goes, "You know what? That wasn't so bad." It was. You know what? It was awful. It's I a beautiful. My heart was give out. It's a beautiful view. <laughs> Three and a half hours of sleep. Here we go. Yay. Sunrise. Yes. Oh, so tired. It's about 5 a.m. and after a quick three hour nap, I've convinced the other mittens to join me for an early morning hike to see the sunrise. And despite their better judgment, Amanda does not get to do early morning hikes in the cold. They agreed to accompany me anyway. So this morning we're off to the top of Frying Pan Mountain. It's about a 45 minute drive from Asheville and is located right off Blue Ridge Parkway. The mountain rises over 5,300 feet above sea level. The hike to the top is just under a mile of steady uphill climbing. At the top, a historic 70 foot lookout tower awaits us. Well, the sun is starting to rise, so let's do this thing. It's now or never. Here we are, we're at Blue Ridge Parkway. We're about to start heading up to Frying Pan Tower so we can try and catch the sunset rise. It's like 27 degrees, it's very cold. Michigan keeps following us everywhere we go. I'm kind of getting tired of it, but I'll survive. Good morning from the better half of the Wandering Mittens. We, <laughs> we made it almost to the top in time of the frying pan lookout, I think is what it's called, to catch the sunrise over the mountains. We got a great view from not at the top. We are very, very close to the top. Um, as a matter of fact, we made it to the lookout tower. Uh, it's, it's just off in the distance here. Let's do a cool spin. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, I want to stay in the frame. We're in. We're in. And there's the tower. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were here, um, but was there a gate on the tower when you got to it? or No, there, there, wasn't there was no gate. There might have been all the way to the top, but I made it six steps up and I was like, nope. Uh, it was about a 25 minute walk from the spot where you can park to start up the trail to get here. Um, it is super cold. There is snow all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my beard is frozen. <laughs> uh, it was it was quite the hike up here, but you know we had three hours of sleep before we decided to come over. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> oh you know, well, there's the other the half. Other, the other half. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, <there> she is. <laughs> but, so now we uh, we're just watching the sunrise. So we're gonna be here for a little while. Everybody's uh, nice and toasty now. We got out the hand warmers. Thank you, juice. Thanks, juice. <laughs>
Time for your thinking mittens. It's trivia time again. How many steps does it take to get to the top of that watchtower? We don't know. You, you tell, tell us. us. We didn't make it to the top. No more early morning hikes. We're gonna you know put what? that no. in. We're gonna no, have no, no, wandering no, no. mitten rules. Number one, Amanda does not get to do early morning hikes in the cold. I don't get to do them or I don't get to plan them? No, we're not doing them. No, because every time we do them, it's a beautiful view. We could have got that same view with the overlook. No, we couldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're headed back down the trail to go get some breakfast. Amanda said this was a nice, even, straight shot gravel road. She lied. I mean, it's it's gravel, right? It is gravel, but there's some big divots and big rocks you gotta watch out for, and it's twisty, curvy, bumpy. <laughs> but now at least we can see it because the sun is finally up. It was a little scarier at six o'clock this morning when we couldn't see nothing. I think we really need to go get some gas. No nuts, Steven. What did you bring us? Uh, boiled peanuts. We got regular and Cajun. Ooh. We'll have to give those a shot. He said he doesn't know how spicy these are, but he says everybody that comes back says they're spiciest. I'll get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, dude. So we all just got down off the mountains and everybody's super hungry and we just arrived at Biscuit Head and this is one of the most anticipated places that we were going to go eat that we've been planning for months. We're gonna go in there and have some super awesome biscuits and gravy and all sorts of other biscuit creations. Here we go. tour of the house we stayed in for the last couple of days um, just kind of show some of the fun stuff that we really enjoyed about it and how comfy everything was so they have a really nice outdoor couch with this propane heater uh, we did not need the propane heater it ended up being really nice today and warm the sun beating in all right so next here is the entryway and it's very open as you can see there's no like ceilings on the bedrooms so you could hear everybody so only one person had to use an alarm which was nice <laughs> everybody woke up to the same one um, they have a nice big couch and they have extra people here it was comfy I took a little siesta on that there's also a table big enough for six which is nice and those chairs are comfy too I put my I sat there for a second if this isn't just a pleasure vacation and you have to do a little work, there's this nice desk, like media area, um, computer, nice chair, all of the instructions that you need for everything right there, which is nice. There's cable, um, we have access to Netflix, HBO, and Hulu, which is nice for, you know, if you have little ones with you or if it's rainy, you don't have anything to do. <laughs> Cute little kitchen, comes with everything you need. There's the soap, hand soap, hand sanitizer, flat top cook surface. 
Um, coffee maker over here. There is no oven though, which is kind of weird, but I mean, if you're on vacation, you don't want to be cooking anyway, right? So there's two bedrooms. It's like a copy and paste basically. King size beds. I like the memory foam, so they're really squishy. And then there's also a bathroom up here, which is nice that we have two bathrooms. So boys downstairs, girls upstairs. We get the better of the two. All right, and when you go on your adventures, if you get dirty, you need to wash something real quick. There's a nice washer and dryer. We used it from our mudding from the day before. The second bathroom, it's a little dark, but it's nice again, having to sh tub, shower, your toilet. And then we've got like a little rec area, ping pong, a couple of nice couches, a little seating area. Kitchenette. Oh, there's a toaster oven. So if you did need, if you got like late night munchies and you wanted some pizza rolls, you could still make them crispy. Okay, what's nice is this place has some fun stuff for you to borrow. There's a couple of bikes with helmets, kayaks. There is also a canoe. Uh, you do have access to use that, which is also nice because some Airbnbs do not let you use their personal stuff. So thanks for coming along on a little house tour with us. Um, some of the really nice highlights of it is it's an A-frame, so you would think it might be smaller, but the big tall ceilings make it feel so much bigger that all the natural light that's coming through just kind of refreshes your soul a little bit, which is nice coming from the north down to the south. <laughs> um, it's super quiet out here, and it's just been relaxing. That's my, f ooh take that back my favorite part is the shower upstairs with the river uh, rock floor it had two different shower heads it's so nice and warm and the pressure was good <laughs> so we're all here in our Airbnb in Asheville um, we got a little challenge for Tim and uh, Jeff to do it's called the Sprite challenge if you're familiar with TikTok at all maybe you've seen some of the videos so they're gonna go ahead and give it a try right now and Let's see how they do. So we're on our second day of vacation and the entire time driving down here, all the Wandering Men's been talking about apparently is doing a ridiculous Sprite challenge. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to attempt to chug these without burping and uh, see how it goes. Cheers. Cheers. It's, it's painful already. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts so bad. Why do I let you guys talk me into this crap? Uh, it... Uh, How you doing, Jeff? Not oh, good at all. Uh, I feel like I'm a puke. Nope. <laughs> Oh, come on, Timmy, you can do it. You're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I only made it two thirds of the bottle, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. oh, it's coming out the other end. <laughs> How do you feel, Jeff? Um, honestly, a little bit better after belching, so I'll give it a finish. Tim, how are you holding up now? As an innocent bystander of the Sprite Challenged, 
I have never been more proud of my husband until this very moment. <laughs> Even though he failed miserably. <laughs> all right, so after a quick little cat nap and we all got freshened up, we're headed to downtown Asheville to grab some dinner and check out some of their local beer scene. Stay tuned. So here we are. We uh, just found a place to park in Asheville and we're gonna go check out some beers and hopefully pound a few. Found the beers and the ladies and a car. <laughs> which ones did you get, Jeff? I got the Cruel Specter of Uncertainty, which is a nitro stout. This guy, and then I also got the uh, the beginning is after the end, which is a porter coffee base. And I got the Profit Maker, which is uh, a beer. <laughs> and then I got. For we shall wander the darkness until the end, which is like a triple IPA or something. I it had a lot of alcohol, so that's why I chose that. It's gonna be hoppy. It looks hazy. It looks delicious. I'm gonna have to have a sip of it too. <laughs> Cheers. Tim and I just got done drinking our beers, and I also finished Amanda cider. Uh, that was horrendous. <laughs> but uh, the beer was awesome, though. I genuinely enjoyed mine. They were super tasty. Yeah, so were both of mine. All right, we're on to the next one. So we ended up at the Antidote, which was right next door to the store that was closed. Uh, I'm trying the King of Siam, and you're having a look. The uh, house-made ginger beer. It's gonna be exciting. This place is super cool. It's kind of old-fashioned looking. So I got the Antidote Old Fashioned. Uh, it's kind of my tried and true choice whenever I drink cocktails. You'll see a lot of them on the uh, cruise ship. I just got a lavender lemonade, non-alcoholic. So we made it to our next stop. We're at Bear's Smokehouse. It was a food truck with indoor and outdoor seating behind it. It's looks really unique. We ordered the moink balls, which is bacon wrapped meatballs. We also got bear balls, which is deep fried macaroni and cheese, cornbread and some sauce. <laughs> cheese sauce and bacon sprinkled on top. And the bear attack, which is cornbread topped with macaroni and cheese and brisket. I couldn't help but salivating just looking at the menu. We had to stop here. Uh, it's a great middle of the road kind of place for us. Uh, here we go. I got a one meat combo with brisket, mac and cheese, and then cornbread. Um, I kind of copied Amanda with the mac and cheese and cornbread I got, but uh, I'm more of a sausage kind of guy, so I got the Texas sausage and the kielbasa. It's like some thick sausage. It is some thick sausage. Would bury my face in these balls again. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Bridget loves these balls. Bridget bear loves balls. these balls. The bear balls. So we just left the bear smokehouse. Very, very good. Southern barbecue did not disappoint with all of the different things that we got. Would recommend stopping at that place if yeah. anybody's in Asheville. I really like their cornbread. If you like a sweet cornbread, so good. The meat was moist, the sauces were delicious. Jeff. No complaints, besides for Jeff, yeah. dropping his macaroni and cheese down yeah. his shirt. Oh, I dropped mac and cheese oh, all over man. my shirt. Oh. Uh, shirt's ruined. Oh, so, poor no, Jeffy. We're not having a good time. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go we home are. and go to bed now. We're over it. <laughs> all, right. all right, we're on to the next brewery, Two Leaf Brewing Company. We're gonna check it out. All right, see ya.
So Tim and I both got the strawberry milkshake IPA. Nothing um, is real is what it's called. Yep. We're at Twin Leaf Brewery. Uh, I thought it was actually going to be a milkshake, and then I read the description. It's got a buttload of milk, sugar, and what 250 pounds of strawberry puree. So oh. this should be delicious. Super stoked. Cheers. It is. It's delicious. It's great. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. So I got the MD Double XI. It's a Mexican Imperial Chocolate Stout. It literally looks like a like chocolate milk, maybe like root beer float kind of beer. I'm super excited to try this one. So not only does it have some cinnamon notes and chocolatey and coffee notes, uh, after about like 30 seconds of not drinking, it also has some uh, maybe Chipotle. Uh, it definitely hit the back of my throat a little bit. It reminds me of a beer at North Grove Brewing back where we live that's called the El Gato Loco. Uh, it's delicious though. The boys are pretty uh, wasted right now. I double clap my nutsack, clicking my heels. <laughs> oh, so Bridget's got the keys. Don't worry. The, the resident designated driver, Mother Hubbard here. <laughs> So they're probably going to be really annoying in the back seat because I'm riding shotgun this time. Yep. She's the best navigator ever. Yeah, ever. Holy! Dear Lord, please help us. Send help. Everybody's heading into the house now. We had a great time in Asheville. It was super yep. awesome. Breweries were really good. Food was uh, good. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, we're all getting ready to go for, to bed now. Um, we got to get up super early in the morning. Uh, what time are we getting up? Uh, 3 a.m. It's, what, 8.30 right now? We got to be on the road before 5 a.m. We're going to Charleston in the morning. Woohoo! Because it's cruise day. Cruise, cruise day. day. <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you then. So, confession time. It's day three of our trip. Tensions are running a little high. I don't like anybody that I'm with. I think I just pissed Timmy off. I tolerate him, but I don't really like him. They have some good times, but it's, it's mainly forced. Asked him why he was being grumpy. I get stuck with all the motherly duties. Not really. Just kidding. It's been a blast so far. Amanda was my savior. We're having a great time, but being in the car for this long is kind of crappy. She let me ride in the front this whole way down. I was super worried I was going to have to sit in the back. Uh, for super long car rides like that, sit in the back, it's not extra comfy for big dudes. So you're my hero. Thank you, Amanda. The food's been great. Not hit or miss. We, uh, we had some subpar breakfast this morning. It just... Uh, wasn't that great. Until today in Asheville, every bit of food we've had has been horrible, except for the gas station tornadoes we had when we were still in Michigan. In Genoa, we got really lost. That was a little scary. Well, you know where the post office is there in Genoa? No. No, we don't. No cell service. Nobody for miles that, that could help us. I mean, well, you just head over that there bridge a couple miles back and you head up the mountain, there's a bunch of signs to take you where you need to go. The lack of sleep, I think, is finally getting to me. I had this plan for us to go on this nice hike, of, you know, up a mountain, ready to get a nice a little bit longer rest. But I'm so happy that we all accomplished it. I'm so proud of us. And I'm just really excited to get on our cruise and get into some different territory, some warmer weather, and spend some more time with the Wandering Mittens. Yeah. We're down 
the mountain. Roll her down. Try it. Bridget in the sky. I thought you were going to push me down the mountain. She's going to go bye-bye.